بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين أما بعد حج is the fifth pillar of Islam so are there athkar prescribed to say when doing umrah or hajj of course whenever you are set after wearing your ihram assuming the state of ihram for your umrah or for your hajj the sunnah is to say a talbiyah now talbiyah is not your intention this is something you say verbally as form of dhikr so what do we say we say labbayk allahumma labbayk labbayk allahumma labbayk labbayk la sharika laka labbayk inna alhamda wal ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharika lak here i am o oh allah in response to your call labbayk allahumma labbayk here i am in English, it may sound like, here I am, what is this? But in Arabic, when someone says, Asim, I would say in a fraction of a second, Labbaik, meaning here I am. Yeah, meaning at your service, at your command, whatever you want. So here I am. Here I am, labbayk Allahumma labbayk, labbayk, you have no partner. Here I am, again, labbayk, verily all praise, grace and sovereignty belongs to you, you have no partner. Imagine saying this over and over and over from the beginning of your ihram till you see the Kaaba. It may take an hour, it may take a day. It may take a full week until you reach your destination. But you keep on saying this dhikr. Here I am, O oh Allah, labbayk Allahumma labbayk. And the sunnah for the men to raise their voices. So when you see a convoy of pilgrims going for hajj from the miqat onwards, they raise their voices, the men that is, not the women. Women say it silently. And they raise their voices with this talbiya. What a beautiful scene, man. What a beautiful expression and show of being servants and slaves of Allah Azza wa Jal. We've reached Mecca. We've entered the Haram. May Allah Azza wa Jal grant you and me a complete and perfect Umrah and Hajj. When we at the Tawaf, what do we say when we circle the Kaaba? طاف النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بالبيت على بعير كلما أتى الركن أشار إليه بشيء عنده وكبر. The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام, whenever he came by the black stone. He would, one, either kiss it, if not possible, two, touch it with his hand and may kiss his hand. If not possible, three, touch it with a small spear. And if not possible, simply point at it. It's on my left. I do not go, as many people say, Allahu Akbar. This is wrong. It's while going round and circulating the Kaaba, you say Allahu Akbar. And some scholars say you say Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. But the Sunnah, the, the, the confirmed Sunnah is to say Allahu Akbar, which is Allah is the greatest. While we are going round the Kaaba, just before the corner where the black stone is, there is a corner called a rukn al yamani because it's directed towards the south, which is Yemen. So once I reach a rukn al yamani it's sunnah to wipe, no kissing and no pointing. Just wipe. If not possible, then once I pass it, 
between it and the black stone, which is maybe less than a minute walk, the sunnah is to say, رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ O oh, our Lord, grant us the best in this life and the best in the next life and protect us from the torment of hell. Protect us from the torment of hell or from adabu and nar, the punishment of the fire. Now, we finished our tawaf. We pray two rak'ahs be behind Maqam Ibrahim and we go for sa'i. Sa'i is to walk between the two hills, Safa and Al Marwa. So, what do we do in the very beginning? فَبَدَأَ بِالصَّفَى فَرَقِيَ عَلَيْهِ حَتَّى رَأَى الْبَيْتِ فَاسْتَقْبَلَ الْقِبْلَةَ فَوَحَّدَ اللَّهَ وَكَبَّرَهُ وَقَالْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ لَهُ الْمُلْكُ وَلَهُ الْحَمْدُ وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ أَنْجَزَ وَعْدَهُ وَنَصَرَ عَبْدَهُ وَهَزَمَ الْأَحْزَابَ وَحْدَهُ ثُمَّ دَعَا بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ Jabir ibn Abdullah, may Allah be peace with him, said while describing the pilgrimage of the Prophet والسلام, that when he approached Mount Safa, he recited, Inna Safa wal Marwata min Sha'irillah. Indeed, as Safa and Al Marwa are from the places of worship of Allah. This is an ayah in Surah Al Baqarah, or a part of an ayah. And then the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, I begin with what Allah began with, which is a safa. This is why he started from a safa. And then, as he climbed it, he said this ayah. Now remember, inna safa wal marwata min sha'irillah is only to be recited once. And that is the first time you climb over a safa. When you go to Al Marwa, you don't recite this ayah. When you go back to As Safa, you don't recite this ayah. So, seven rounds, you don't recite it except in the very first. And then what? Then the Prophet, والسلام, after he climbed As Safa, until he saw the Kaaba, he faced the Kaaba and he said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And then this is Allah is the greatest three times. And then he would say the following dua. None has the right, of course we say it in Arabic again. None has the right to be worshipped except Allah, alone, without any partner. To him belongs all sovereignty and praise, and he is over all things omnipotent. None has the right to be worshipped except Allah alone. He has the right, uh, no, none has the right to be worshipped except Allah alone. He fulfilled his promise, aided his servant, and single handedly defeated the uh, uh, Confederates or the Allies. And the Prophet w used to repeat this three times. And then he walks to Al Marwa and he does the same thing three times and makes dua afterwards uh, um, in between and prolong the dua. So this as safa wal marwa are places of dua and dhikr. This is all the time we have until we meet next time. I leave you fi amanillah. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.